Yo, what's up everybody? So I haven't made a video in a good minute, but today I have something going on. Got this Craftsman, uh, Craftsman Creeper right here that I've had for years, <laughs> and I never even got to use it. Um, so I have a problem with this thing. The casters that came with it, I somehow lost them. So reason that's the reason why I haven't used this thing for a while, because I lost the casters. So I ended up buying some casters to uh, re to install on here. Thing is, I had to go buy some, and um, I'm gonna have to modify the the I guess the holes where the casters will be installing in. There's one right here. Uh, let me see. Let me zoom in, zoom in on that. So this is the top side of it, which is round. The bottom side of it is square. Square on the bottom, round on top. Um, so with the casters that came with this piece, um, like I said, they were lost. I don't remember how they looked. Um, so what I, will, I will be modifying um, the bottom side not the top but the bottom that square area i'll have to modify it a little bit um i have i'm going to show you um the stuff that is needed for this project let's go over here now this is the stuff that is going to be needed for this little project, which is going to be the drill hand, the hand drill gun, whatever, however you want to put it, whatever it's called. Um, the casters I bought from the local store, hex nuts, lock washers, and then washers. Also a bar clamp. I couldn't find my C clamp, so I'm going to use this bar clamp and some lock dry loop to spray on the area and also to spray on the drill bit itself and some safety glasses some safety glasses because there could be a chance of the drill bit breaking or just some shrapnel just flying around everywhere um, that might not happen but you can never be too uh, safe so yeah that's everything that's going to be needed there that's what's going to be needed and what will be used for the um the process here now i'm gonna go ahead and clamp flip the creeper over and clamp it down i have already drilled on the bottom side over here on this side over here this corner the bottom side i've already done it I am going to show you on this one here and then install two casters and then that will be pretty much for this video. So I've already done this one you can kind of see like all the shredded metal from the area here. And as you can see, zoom in on the middle, that's what it looked like before. That's what it looked like before. And that's what it looks like after having an issue with the zoom option here. Let me see. Let's see if I can. Come on. There we go. So that's what it looks like. So that's the after. And then the before. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and clamp it down and I'll show you um what is um needed what I needed to do to make a cast of work. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is drill the one in the middle, which is right here. I'll drill in there and then um, I'll install two of the casters and then that'll be it for this video. Alright, so bar clamp. 
C clamp would be better to use, but I don't have a C clamp, which I didn't find. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and go take this creeper just so I can get the corner, not the middle. If I had a C clamp, I'd be able to do the one in the middle, but I can't, so just go ahead and just. clean out the, the corner one. Now on the drill bit, I'm gonna go ahead and spray some of this lock dry lube. And then on the frame, on the creeper. Now the reason why I'm doing this is friction uh, they have metal to metal friction contact um, I'm not gonna press too hard on the edges inside the the square here I'm not gonna press too hard I'm just gonna just press you know, I'm just gonna just make the drill operate and I'm just gonna just take off some of the the metal to kind of just open it up a little bit and then the caster will fit Go ahead and move this thing over. I'm going to zoom in so that you can see. Let me put some light on here. Very careful with this. Put the safety goggles on. Saw the caster from the bottom as is like this. You install it like that from the bottom. And then um, that's it. So we move this drill bit out of the way. We'll do the clamp. So I'm going to go ahead and take one of each, uh, the heck nut, the heck nut, the lock clamp, and then a, the lock nut, I'm sorry, the, not, the lock nut uh, washer, and then a regular washer. So I'll take one of each. Flip this thing over. A little bit of confusion, but it's good. Okay. 
to now. Oops. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and clear off the shavings. And install the caster onto the creeper. We'll go on the bottom like so. Then you slip the creeper right side up. Put the washer, then the lock washer, and then the hex nut. Okay, so now after you install the caster and the washer, the lock washer and the nut, you're going to want to tighten it. Kind of just hold it down. I am going to torque. This will be done off camera, but I will go ahead and torque down that hex nut. Probably like at 10 pounds. Torque it down to 10 pounds and then it'll be done. So pretty much that's how uh, you modify a creeper with non-craftsman casters. And that is it for today. And I'll come back with some other videos in a couple weeks. Um, but hope you um learned something from this video um this is something that i've needed to do for a few years i just never got around to it till today because i kind of need this thing is just sitting around not doing anything so i figured i'll take the time to go get what i needed i've been in i went to like two different stores i went to a lowe's and finally lowe's had it had what i needed since Northern Tools and Harbor Freight didn't have these type of casters, at least with the stem. At those two locations, the stem wasn't as tall as I needed to have it run all the way through. But Lowe's had these casters right here. The stem, the threaded stem was long enough to reach all the way through. It worked out perfect. So, so yeah, I'm finally going to go ahead and get some use out of this creeper. I got some projects I need to do. I got to get my Mustang running and my Nissan 246. I want to get that running again. So hopefully uh, soon I can get to work on these damn vehicles. And this thing is going to be needed for sure. So thank you for watching this video. Like, and subs uh, like the video and subscribe. And I'll be coming at you with other uh, tips, tricks, and anything else that I'll try to put into this channel. All right, thank you.